it's that time again. I wait and see if anybody shows up. Hope you're having a good night, good day. Hello, David. We've got somebody watching. Normally when one comes in, more than one comes in. We've been getting several hundred folks look at these uh, each night, and uh, that's a good thing. And I'll work on uh, doing some prep work in advance to increase those numbers. I'd like to get a uh, thousand plus watching each one of these would be a good thing. And you can help by sharing, by the way. So share on, boys and girls. Hello, Rilla. Good to see you again. You've been on here about every night, if not every night. I appreciate that very much. And uh, you too, David. You've been on here quite a bit. As we've been uh, looking at uh, Southern Gospel music, memorabilia, memories, and ministry. That's what we're doing tonight. Number nine tonight. Hello, John. Good to see you. Randy Kors, you rascal. Your April Fool's joke where you got on there saying you're doing a bluegrass record. And then you say you're not. Shame on you. <laughs> My son was the one that told me it was an April Fool's joke. And I'm like, are you kidding me? That's when I sent you the text. You rascal. Hello, Sherry. Hello, uh, others that are uh, getting on here. We're going to have um, we're going to have uh, a phone call like we have been, been having every night, as we've been taking a look at the Southern Gospel music memorabilia, memories, and ministry. Hello, Stephen. Uh, and I've got some show and tell. Plus, I've got some vinyl as well. So we're going to do that and. Uh, um, going to wait just a few more minutes though for folks to get on. Hey, by the way, whenever we're done with this Facebook Live, I am going to post a video. And if you know, uh, if you are a songwriter or if you know a songwriter, they need to, uh, they need to get this. They need to watch this video. I want to post right after this Facebook Live. Hello, Dell. Hello, Kevin from Florida. Kevin. Yep. Evening, Les. Evening, Kevin. Hello, Karen. Hello, Les. <laughs> Hello, Terry. We're getting folks getting in here now. Hello, Randy Griffiths. Brother Griffiths, good to see you. Tammy, you're supposed to be working on my video, Tammy. <laughs> oh, by the way, the video that I, I'm going to put on my Facebook page. Hello, Mitch. After this Facebook Live, she did all the all the post-production stuff, and uh, it was just good. She did good work. She always does good work. Um, I'm blessed to have Tammy Sumner on the Butler Music and Family Music Group team. Very blessed. Hello, Lee. What's up, Lee? Old time preacher quartet, former lead singer, till he chickened out and ran off. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, Tammy says, I am working. Believe me, I know it. Okay, so what what got this uh, current series started was this picture right here. And this is the picture that we took uh, the night that we did, or the day that we did the double DVD CD series. It happened on the way to the concert from the Singing News back when I was uh, publisher of the Singing News magazine. I got this bunch together, and we've done them all except for the two in the middle. Chris Hawkins Freeman is going to be tomorrow. Tonight, it's all about... The Little Giant, my friend and a great friend of Southern Gospel music, and boy, we miss him, Ernie Phillips. So that's what got this whole thing started. Hey, David. Hey, John Wisdom. So uh, here's what we're going to do. My call will be coming in here in a little bit, but let me give you some show and tell stuff. Uh, we'll do some vinyl first, then I've got a couple of pictures. Come see me when you get the all-clear I owe you dinner at Andy's in Winter Haven. Kevin Garrett, you know I'm going to take you up on Andy's in Winter Haven. Good night of living. That place was great. Can't wait to shake loose and get down there. We had to cancel our Florida tour. We had to cancel all of our tours. <laughs> 
for all, all of March. I think we we sang one the, the first one night the first week of March, and then everything got canceled. All of April's gone. Most of May is gone. June's even starting to cancel. The Blue Gate Theater, where where we were supposed to be, canceled uh, in June. So, Kevin, but when we're back on the road, brother, and by faith, I believe that will be happening. Um, hey Tony. Hey John. Hey Jimmy. Um, I will be coming to you, and we will go there, and that'll be a wonderful, wonderful thing. All right, so now I'm going to show you some vinyl. We'll start with the Mac Daddy, the Kingsman, Chattanooga Live, Little Ernie, right there. What a record! All I can say to that is, what a record! One more time, what a record! Now. That being said, my favorite Kingsman record, man, I've got a bunch of them. Hey, Brad. Hey, Benjamin. But I'm 99% sure this is my favorite Kingsman record right here. Just a little closer home, featuring He Did Not Fail. If, if you don't have this record, then you're not a Southern Gospel fan. Hey, John. Little Ernie, right there. We're talking about Little Ernie tonight. Ernie Phillips. What a record. What a record. And here's another one of my favorites. This will be in the top five. The Upper Window. Got Little Ernie right there. What a record. <laughs> That's all I can say. What a record. Now, um... I've got another album that uh, I'll be showing you here in a minute after we get our call started with our special guest who's going to talk about his special friend, Little Ernie Phillips. But I've got a couple of pictures. Uh, these were taken. This would have been about 1980-81 at Morris Civic Auditorium in South Bend, Indiana. And I had a friend who... Uh, who went to a lot of the concerts up in South Bend and the ones that I promoted in Northwest Indiana and in Chicago. He was a photographer. His name, Donald Funkhauser. Donald Funkhauser. And Donald, look at me. I can't find you. I hope somehow this video finds you because I want you to contact me. Go to my Facebook page, Les Butler, and contact me, sir, please. Got to talk to you. But he was a great photographer, and he was uh, with me on this particular night in South Bend, Indiana. And here are a couple of pictures that nobody else in the world has except if he has the negatives, and yours truly. Right there. Let me get up there as close as I can. And uh, right there is little Ernie. The favorite thing about this picture for me is Hamill pointing to Wayne Maynard saying, Boy, I'm too tired to hit this note. It's your turn. Hit it. Bow. There it is. <laughs> you got Ray Dean right there. Then let me see who's over here. This and then Ed Crawford right right there. And uh, Ray Dean's getting on with it. Check him out there. And you see Ernie. Hey, uh, hey, Miss Maggie. Hey, uh, Mike. And so this was from uh, eight, somewhere 81, 82. Hey, Steve Allen. More Civic Auditorium. The person that took this picture, Donald Funkhauser and myself, are the only two that have this one right here. And now, there was a picture that he took probably within five seconds after of taking this picture. And here it is. And this is the coolest one of all, but you really can't see everything. But you see Jim Hamill right here, and then you see the silhouette of someone. That is Hamill doing what he did with Little Ernie a lot, throwing him off the stage to go sing into the crowd. And you can see Ray Dean's already down in the crowd. But uh, Jim couldn't throw Ray Dean down into the crowd. But Little Ernie, he could. And there he is. You can just see the silhouette. There, Hamill's holding his hand as he slung him out into the crowd <laughs> to sing. Oh, man, the Kingsmen were, uh, they were something back in the day right there when, when Hamill was slinging Little Ernie out into the crowd. But uh, again... You're looking at the only man's got this picture right here. Some of my Southern Gospel memorabilia. On this, number nine, this is Les Butler Facebook Live, 
Southern Gospel Music, Memorabilia, Memories, and Ministry. And I've got, uh, I got a whole Hall of Fame museum worth of stuff, and so we'll probably be years doing this. Wouldn't that be cool if the Lord doesn't come back? But I kind of think he's going to come back, and we can, we can um, after we're through uh, worshiping at his feet for a million or two million years, we'll get together and talk about some of this. But I'm going to be bit busy for several years, <laughs> so <laughs> doing other, other things other than this. Hello, Terry. Hello, Kevin. All right, so um, there is my part of the memorabilia for tonight. Now, I'm going to, on the ministry part, I always end with, with scripture and just, I, I go somewhere with all of this. I'm not doing that tonight. I'm going to let the, the, there's a story that this gentleman that's going to be calling here in a minute and uh, talking to us that he has that is the ministry part of what I want to have happen tonight. Boy, it's about, just minding the Lord, doing the right thing, and um, in, in even in the darkest of circumstances, just staying true and doing what you should do. And so we will uh, have uh, my friend, who's going to call any minute now, or we're going to call him, uh, tell that story. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Tony. Uh, and then I got some, uh, we've got a couple other pieces of vinyl. I'm going to play a song by Ernie. I'm going to play, man, I've got so many favorites. I'm going to play one. Maybe it's my favorite that that uh, lets him cut loose, but uh, I've got so many. Hello, Phil. Hello, Tony. And don't forget, at the end, after this is over tonight, I'm going to post a video. Hey, Sherry, if you are a songwriter, watch this video, and please even if you're not a songwriter, but you're in the in the music business and you know just tons of songwriters and up and coming writers even, especially up and coming writers, please forward the video that's going to come on after this live, Facebook Live. Please forward the video to uh, your Facebook friends on your page. Would you do that? I would appreciate that. Hello, Glenda. Love, little Ernie. Yes, ma'am. Sure do. Love, little Ernie. Okay. Um, you know, Ernie was one of the very first folks. The Kingsman, the Blackwood Brothers, the Happy Goodman family, and the Spears. There was a period of time there for um, a couple, well, for about a year, where they were coming to the Morris Civic Auditorium in South Bend, Indiana, a lot. And I was doing my radio show back then. And from 78 to 84, when they would come to Moore Civic Auditorium, I would, uh, I would bring a Wallen Sack reel to reel. I'm old, folks, and record interviews with uh, with all these folks. And Little Ernie was one of the very first interviews uh, I did when the Kingsman came there. I've interviewed them all. I've interviewed them all since that time for 40 years. But he was one of the very first ones. And boy, I don't know. There was just something different about Ernie I, from from the get go. I just fell in love with him. Not only his talent, but just who who he is as who he was as a man. And uh, hello, brother Brian. Good to see you, sir. God bless you. Um. But and they and they all were, but something special about Ernie, and he uh, he just man, he was just a great great man. And uh, we're going to feature him tonight. I tell you what, we'll do while we're waiting on. Uh, uh, this call. Let me do this. Let me do this. I got to find what I'm going to do. Forgot what I was going to do now. Oh yeah. Hold on. I'm going to play a song from Chattanooga Live. And it's got Little Ernie doing what Little Ernie does. I mean, just tearing it up. Let me try to find it here. Excuse me as I uh, um, make all kinds of vinyl noises. <laughs> Oh, this is such a great record. I want to play the whole record. Hello, Phil. I was in South Bend many years ago. Well, we probably were together at some of these singings in. And there's a Sunday Side Up. Hello from uh, Canada, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So this is Chattanooga Live, Side One, Introduction, Traveling Home, The Lovely Name of Jesus. My goodness gracious sakes alive. What a song. Then there's this some morning soon. I'm gonna take to the air, I'm gonna leave this world of sorrow and care. I'll hear those welcome bells are ringing, 
I got to get ready for my call. I got to do something else here. So everybody just hang tight for a minute. Are you having a good time tonight? I hope so. All right, here we go. Let me get this going here. All right. All right, now I'm going to make my call here. I'm going to make my call. Here it comes. Hey, Tim. Hey, Steve. Hello. Oh, let me get my thing here. We got speaker. Are you there? Hey, buddy. There you are. Bob, we're on Facebook Live, my friend. Hello, Facebook Live. Hello, Les Butler. Hello, everybody. We're doing Ernie Phillips tonight as, as part oh, of my spotlight. Man. Your old buddy. Ernesto. Now, man. before we talk about Ernie, I've got, a little, I've got a little thing here for you. Are you ready? I think. All right. Hang tight. Nice to be. All of these wonderful people, and I know what you've come to hear. You've come to hear some great quartet singing. Here it comes, Bob. These Here it comes. I've known for 20 years, and when it comes to great singing, you can't come beat on. it. Let's get your hands together and really bring them on with a Watch great out, Bob. battle. Welcome Don't pull a hamstring. Quartet. Uh-oh. Here it is. <laughs> Here, Here we go. <laughs> oh man, I, now listen, don't pull a hamstring running around the kitchen. A, a 15 second single. Don't pull, don't pull a hamstring running around the kitchen now. Hello, Bill. Hello, Carl. They're online with us here. Okay, so we're talking about uh, Little Ernie. Of course, now, when you were singing lead with the Kingsman, he had, he had already gone, of course, but there was a, a period of time when he jumped on the bus and traveled with y'all. Yes, two different. 
two different times. Well, talk to me about them. When we uh, were looking for tenor singers, when uh, the first time when Harold Reed left, right as I was joining, he came and he and he gave Ray. He offered Ray three months, and we took all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> and the next time um, we needed one, same deal. Same deal. Uh, when Chris Jenkins left before he came back, um, he came back for three more months. And uh, man, so I've, I've told a lot of people those those six months are, are the highlight of, of anything I've ever been able to do musically. Just just getting travel with with Ernie. You know, Ernie was so much more than a, an amazing tenor singer. Yeah, he was. He was just a. He was the real deal. I mean, just. I set up, you know, talking with him about life, about the Bible, about everything, you know, half the night on the bus, and then just see how he treated people, and man, he was, he was a superstar. I called him, I, I, you know, this was a joke, it was just our thing, I called him the chick man, okay? <laughs> because they lined up, young and old, to see yeah. Ernie every night, and he just got the biggest kick out of that. And, uh, but people, everybody loved Ernie because he was just a genuinely nice man yeah. and a wonderful Christian guy. I mean, man, some of those talks we had, I, I, I gleaned stuff from him that I, that I still take with me uh, today. Like, sure. of course, a lot of, a lot of people will probably remember he, he lost his son while he was with the Kingsman. Yes. <clears throat> yes, just a real young son. And we were we were talking one night and somehow it came up and like the subject never had really been breached, but once it was, I said, well, Ernie, you know, we all, we, we preach trust and, you know, we turn to the Lord and all that. But that's one thing. And we, in our hearts we do, but you know, man to man, how, what do you do to put one foot in front of the other? Yeah. After God forbid something like that happens, and he and and, it's, and he told me something that I that I take with me this very day, and you know his mom lip quivered a little bit, and he just said, "All I can tell you is God's grace is sufficient." Yeah. And, yeah. and it was just silence, and I mean that seems so simple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's so it's so true for everything for that for this coronavirus yeah um, yeah or singers like ourselves sitting home with nothing to do yeah yeah um god's grace is sufficient yeah. no matter what happens yeah yeah amen you know what and by the way i got so excited to play roll tide for you i forgot to tell everybody this is bob sellers oh. <laughs> hey, y'all. i was so excited about that so i'm sorry about that but um okay so um and by the way, folks, after I hang up with Bob, I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you this University of Alabama album jacket and the inside sleeve that has a bunch of pictures. So stay tuned for that. But Bob, I want to end with this, if you don't mind. And yep. and I know that you told me once that it was okay to say. So I've mentioned it one time on a radio interview. But I always end these segments I have this week with with uh, like going to the Bible and, and tying in some scripture to the song that I feature from the artist. But tonight I'm going to do it differently. I want you to tell folks the, the last, probably the very last thing Ernie Phillips ever got to do in his life. And it ties into you. And it's, he, he just, he, he just minded the Lord. He just did the right thing, what they, what he and his wife did every year, and even on his deathbed, he was still you know, true to the Lord. What did I, he do? I, I wish, I wish I had not done anything with it, but framed it. Yeah, but yeah. I, I have the text, I have the memory, and man, what, what a blessing and what an honor, Ernie. At um, he passed away in January. And right before Christmas, I got a I got a letter in the mail from Bonnie, his wife, and he said it said that every year they choose a ministry to bless, and 
it it wasn't the amount. It was, you know, Ernie Phillips thought enough of me, and 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 believed in me and my ministry enough to choose me. And so so Ernie sent me uh, and Bonnie sent me a sent me a handwritten card and a check in there. And uh, man, man, what 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 a cherished honor. That's just that's just the type of guy he was. Yes, sir. Just the type of guy he was. Well, he he's was missed. Uh, yes, he's missed. He's missed missed by many. And uh, boy, I'm telling you, I have conversations with folks all the time, just traveling down the road, and not even being talking about the Kingsman or whatever. But his name will come up. Yeah. And and if there's one word other than wonderful Christian, I would have to describe Ernie. It was encourager. Yeah. He was always. I mean, he was. He was a superstar to people that followed the Kingsman back in those days and, and really knew gospel music. It was like, whoa, we're going to see the little giant Ernie Phillips. Yeah. And like I said, just flopped to him at the table and everything. But that that didn't that didn't affect that didn't affect him a bit. Yeah. I mean, he just shrugged that all shucks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm just an old man. <laughs> and he was he was born completely deaf in his last year. Wow. <laughs> And could still sing like that. Yeah, yeah. But man, he was he was a one of a kind, one of a kind. Well, Bob, I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me tonight and talking about our friend Ernie. I just wanted to well, shine a little you, spotlight buddy. on him. I appreciate you uh, putting a spotlight on him. He's he's the kind of guy that he'd be the first to say he didn't want a spotlight, but. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the type of heroes we need. Amen. In this old world, and man, listen, I'm, I'm praying for you and for everybody out there watching and listening. And we're gonna all get through this. Yes, sir. Likewise, by the way. Amen. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it, buddy. Bye right, bye. Bye bye. Bob Sellers, of course, he was the uh, lead singer for the Kingsman for for years, and uh, I did some touring with Old Time Preachers Quartet, and he's a soloist now, and. Soon as they cut them, cut us all loose, we're going to come back and sing and give you Jesus. <laughs> but until then, we're going to do what what we can. And I always, like I said, I always end these segments with uh, opening the Word of God and tying something together. But I, I'm going to do it different tonight. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going. We're going to have, we're going to laugh a little bit, and then we're going to listen to a great quartet song, and uh, and and let this be the conclusion for tonight. But I'm going to go back to Chattanooga Live, and I am going to uh, let Jim Hamill do the introduction. I've got to get my vinyl set here. Um, the introduction of Little Ernie, and you're going to laugh, and we're going to have a, have, have a big time with that. But then we're going to let Little Ernie bless us tonight to end this evening of music, memorabilia, memories, and ministry, Facebook Live with Les. How about a little standing on the solid rock and then we'll let him introduce her. pictures from University of Life Alabama inside jacket. I'll I'll show that while we see here.
This is from the University of Alabama Live. Now, here's Jim, introducing Ernie. Thank you so much. Now, get over here. I want to introduce this one right here. Everybody says, well, how big is he? Well, he's five foot two. The tenor for the Kingsman, the ton of fun. That's a size 18 boys, Buster Brown suit cut down as far as it'll go. Back about the middle of January, that big old tall Texas boy named John Parrick that sung tenor for the Kingsman on our last live album did such a fine job, decided that it was time for him to stay home and hey, Isaac, spend hey, some dear. time with his family. Well, we had to find somebody to sing the ladies' part for the Kingsman. That screaming part, you know, it wouldn't be the Kingsman without somebody busting your eardrums every night. Well, we looked all over the country. The first thing you have to be to be a Kingsman is a born-again Christian. I don't mean you've signed the church card or you've shook that big six-foot icicle's hand down in front of the church. Or you've been a member of the first church of the refrigerator for 40 years. Uh -oh. I mean a born again, bought by the blood, old time Bible believing Christian. That's what you want to be. I've heard this a time or two. Well, we listen hey, to Justin, a lot of Hey Justin, hey Jonathan, hey Anna Sue, my aunt. Found some good singers and some fine Christian men. But we couldn't find anybody that we wanted to sing with the Kingsman. Don't want to judge anybody's life. But the Bible says that you can be a fruit inspector. By their fruits, you shall know them. And you know, we just couldn't find what we wanted. And one day the phone rang and it was Archie Watkins that sings tenor with the inspirations. Yeah, we know him. <laughs> and old Archie said, now I know where there's a tenor. Said he ain't good as I am. But no better than the Kingsman saying he'll fit right in. <laughs> well, we got on the telephone hey, and Jonathan called Hickland. up there to Cool Ridge, West Virginia, to the general store where they got their telephone. <laughs> Thank you. And we invited this one down to Detroit. try out for the Kingsman. Well, the time drew nigh for his arrival. And we was a looking out the sliding glass door windows through the curtain to see what our money had bought us. <laughs> Talk about inflation hitting. Great song coming About up, don't that move. Time, a big old blue and white car come up the driveway. Well, the car come to a screeching halt. The door opened. He got him a stepladder and got down out of the car. <laughs> and I turned to the boys and I said, what is it? Ray said, it's that tenor. First thing that crossed my mind, Archie Watkins has played a dirty <laughs> trick on the Kingsman. <laughs> well, I didn't like him none. I just wanted to send him home, you know. But he had drilled, drove. He had traveled about seven hours to be with him. <laughs> and so we got him in there around hey, the Don, piano hi, Mike. to sing somewhere. And you know he got to sing? And I got to listen, and I got to like what I was hearing. Oh, yeah. And I looked over at him and saw the tear rolling down his cheeks. You're going to like what you're getting ready to hear, too. And I started feeling them glory bumps running up and down my back. <laughs> and I knew right then we had this one. Would you welcome a little giant, Ernie Phillips? We're going to let Ernie Phillips and the Kingsman do the ministry part. 
of our at the end of our video tonight. Here it is. This will bless you. Kingsman Chattanooga Live as we've been putting our focus and our attention on the little giant, little Ernie Phillips. And we're going to let that be the ministry for the night. <laughs> Praise God for heaven. Might happen to me tonight. Never know when you're going to leave. We're going to leave one day. Are you ready to leave? A lot of what we've done over the last week has pointed to that. Jesus is coming soon, and are you ready? Mm -mm. Uh, you can uh, instant message, message me there on Facebook if you uh, want to know more about that. I'm happy to tell you more about that. We'll get, I'll give you a call. We'll just talk about it. and I'll get the Bible out, and we'll get it fixed up for you. That's what we'll do. I hope you've enjoyed tonight, and um, hit... Uh, share and let others enjoy it over the weekend. And also, hello, Diane, thank you. Um, I'm getting ready to post a video right after this, and I want you to share that because if you've got any friends that's, that's written songs and they've always thought, boy, I sure would, what do I do? I, I can help them. And there's a video that's going to be on, on uh, this Facebook page and the Butler Music Group page and I want you to um, look at it for yourself, share it to other folks, okay? And uh, also, by the way, go to oldtimepreachersquartet.com. During these days, we are closed down. We can't go preach. We can't go sing. And this is what we do. And so we're not doing that now. So if you want to donate, you can look at that at oldtimepreachersquartet.com. But uh, take care of your church and your preacher first. And... Um, tithes and offerings, and, and then if God leads you, uh, so be it. All right, uh, that is it. What a great night tonight as we uh, talked to Bob Sellers, 
and we uh, got to shine a spotlight on the little giant, Ernie Phillips. Or will and we'll see you tomorrow. Chris Hawkins Freeman's going to be our spotlight tomorrow. Come back and visit with us.